Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ravi Lash back, and uh, today I'm back with a new uh, DIY video, uh, which will help you in uh, like preventing overflow of your uh, sump or uh, called as uh, underground tank. So this is the one uh, which is also called as floating ball. Here it says uh, cock and ball, and uh, I've bought this for my sump because I have added a wall. But still, when uh, every time I have to turn the wall on, so if I want the water to let inside my uh, sump, and if once it is filled, I have to turn it off. So using this, uh, the thing is I don't have to always turn it off and turn it on. I just I can keep it on. So this will do the auto cut off uh, thing. Uh, once the sump is filled, this will uh, turn off the wall, and once the sump is empty, then and uh, the once it reaches the uh, minimum level, then it's gonna. Uh, open over here so the water will get inside so i'm gonna do the unboxing of this and show you and uh, in my case it is a little difficult over here because the pipe is not direct uh, in the horizontal way it is from the vertical it's from the top so what i'm gonna do is so if this is the pipe then i'm gonna add this l color then add this and add this so there is a thread over here this is one side thread and one side is the color so then i'm gonna connect this in this portion let me show you And before that, let me do the unboxing. This is the ball, and it is really, really easy to connect. So this is the main mechanism. The ball will be connected over here. So make it tight. Okay, this is done. And uh, before explaining the beauty of this particular thing, I really like to uh, thank you so much for all your uh, support and helping me in reaching 74,000 plus subscribers. And please do support my channel uh, by uh, suggesting, uh, giving me your uh, honest feedback and suggestion in the comment section. And uh, if you are watching for the first time, please do subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon, select all notifications so you can get all my notifications. So this is how this is gonna look, and uh, this will be in this position. So if you can see, there is a gap. Okay, so this will be in this position. When the water raises, even the ball will raise up, and then this gonna uh, like cut off the uh, block the uh, inlet wall over here. So at that moment, the water will not come in. So usually, the water comes from this part and comes over here. When the ball raises up, this will be blocked over here, and the water will not come from here. So this is the beauty of this wall, and uh, I'm gonna connect in this way. Because this comes with the thread, you need this thread and collar uh, adapter. So this is how this is fitted to my sump. Okay, whenever the water raises, this is going to go up and block it. When water is less, uh, when it comes down, and it will allow the water to get inside. So let me go and install this. For this, you need these things, and I have uh, K, uh, the glue also, which is mainly used to stick uh, plastic. This is from Ashwath. Okay, and uh, I don't see any brand. It says E R M. Okay, for this floating ball. So I'm gonna install this. Let's uh, do this. So I see there is a little bit excess. I'm gonna cut this. So because uh, to avoid any kind of further damage, I mean to say, if there is more pressure, there are chances that uh, this may break. So I'm gonna try to use uh, only the required amount. of length okay this is not required for me and uh, let me see how much this can get inside okay, i think it's of half an inch yeah okay so i'm going to cut this little bit so it will be easy for me to insert the rest of the part This will be fitted over here. Let me clean this part first. Okay, so rubber washer also over here. 
or else you have to add uh, the teflon tape so this is perfect so i'm going to add glue over here and add glue over here and then install in my tank so this is how this is going to work you can just add the glue and fit this part Okay, this is done and I think this is okay. good enough so I can cut this also I can make it short and however I'm gonna use this directly and uh, okay. install this in this position perfect so I'm gonna add glue over here make sure you apply enough amount of glue so it's gonna stick it properly so it's time to add this over here okay, make it straight okay. this is fine so now i'm gonna get inside the sump and uh, fix this so let's uh, go to the bottom of the sump so you can see we have cleaned a sump and here comes the water which I was talking about so this is how the place has been installed ok and when the water raises this will go up and cut out the water so this is how this is going to happen so now let me add the glue for this first let me check and see there are two pipes over here one is for cargo and one is for normal water Ma, on money. Ha? On money or what? On money. So I'll apply the glue. So this is how you have to install it. So when the water comes in and this raises up will cut the water from coming in. So I think let me turn it on and check. Ma! On buddy! Bandra! So this is the beauty of this thing. So you can see. So when the water raises up, it will gonna go up and block the water. So this will avoid the overflow. So you can see this is the level and the water will not come up. So guys, uh, I hope you like this uh, DIY thing which I showed you where you can avoid the overflow of your sump and save the water. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions, doubts regarding this, uh, please let me know so I can help you. And uh, if you have 
not yet subscribed please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon and select the all notification so you can get all my latest notification thank you catch you in my next videos till that stay tuned bye bye